Scout the map. See another thing in Ghost Lake. Let's look for any sheep here. What up, Dark? Okay, man, I was like 500, 500 APM trying to find all those sheeps. I think I destroyed them in terms of sheep uh, gathered though. That's a weird flex, I know, but it's Ghost Lake, baby. It's all about the sheeps. I still have two more there, which is good. Ooh, 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 give me that. Alright, let's go back. They're deer, Kappa. <laughs> so greedy, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, guys. I'm laughing at my own jokes today. It's just, how, it's just that kind of day, you know? Oh, okay. She's taking a sheep. Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thought I meant this DC somehow. There's two relics close by there. It's dangerous. I'm gonna go pre Miller or nah, Men of Arms, I guess. Alright. Uh, can I actually like, do one more loop? Like, I think I wanna do one more loop, actually. I'm not really in a rush to scout my opponent right now. Uh, actually, hmm, let's scout my opponent. I'll, I'll go back later. Yeah. Because I wanna see if I can do damage like Men of Arms or if I just, should just do like straight archers, for example. I think Men of Arms makes some sense, I guess. Maybe even a scout opening actually could be could like really surprise them. 19 pop scouts could really surprise them actually. Well, 20 pop since I went a lot to berries, and yeah, maybe maybe 20 pop scouts can really surprise them into arch. That can be kind of cool. So he's expecting some sort of like arch or minor arm play, but yeah, just two scouts can be really good. Just depends on how his map is right now. His map looks very easy to wall. Uh, although the front might be very open, so we'll see. Um, what I could do is actually just scout with a sheep here, in case I never get back. Just get one sheep to scout. Uh, definitely. Oh, that's two extra sheep. Those are his sheep. I'm gonna leave those. Leave those there. Those are his sheep, so I'm okay with leaving those right there. In fact, he found them, so that's fine. One year, the low losing RBW3 the height 2,6k plus HC backslash O slash. I have no idea what that was. Literally no idea. Lofty, thanks for the tier 3. The low losing Red Bull 3, the highest 2k6 plus hit, hidden cup. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Thanks for the tier 3 resub. Brian read it like a dummy, so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't tell what you were saying, but I understand now. I understand now. And my position is terrible, wasn't it? Gotta fix something. Alright, sorry about that. Indians versus Tatars in the late game, which one's favorite? I think probably probably Tatars, honestly. <clears throat> Alright, let's get started. Yes, cool. I'm 20 pop, so he's chasing me, but I can turn the, I can turn that around real quick. 
just a matter of time. I want to show him that I'm doing men arm strength and like that. I'm obviously not doing men arms, I'm doing scouts. Just to buy myself some more time. Hit him, then run. Okay, now I, can, I want to chase him again for that. I think I'm up faster than him. I think he might try and do men arms. He sees no gold, but it could be that I'm taking the back gold. Thing out of his vision right now. Should probably get back into vision. Yeah, and now I can just chase him. I'm not faster. He actually turned back into me, which is unlucky. I'm winning this fight, 100%. Actually? Oh, it's not 100%. I have to get lucky. Uh, damn. Yeah, so I, I, was down, I was down some HP from earlier. Damn. That's okay, though. I mean, not gonna make a huge deal. I think we'll, we'll both be going scouts though. Maybe we got lucky? No. A straight arrow sometimes can land there. If your opponent's not careful. Yeah, so he knows everything I'm doing now. No surprises, which is okay. I don't really mind. I think he'll go straight archers actually, if he's doing scouts as well, I think. Speed forward, oh, so there's the scouts, he's going pretty aggressive then. And, and he's able to do that because he got, he's got that extra scout, uh, you know, even though it's 1 HP, he's still, he still can hit a couple times, so it's deadly. Hi. He's trying, to, he's trying to keep the other scout in the back, by the way. Okay, cool. Hello. Not sure where this was, but hello. That's a good hit. I'm gonna go here. Okay, he's still here. Always add one extra than what they're bringing to the table. Get one extra. Add one more scout as well. Can't take that fight because I have just the spears there. Okay, he went there. Oh, cancel the archer or cancel the scout and uh, archer instead of the scout. Kind of unlucky. Counter attack. Oh, that's so bad for him. Oh god, that was terrible. Just 
Get him off. Riot's gonna be very aggressive to him there. And I'll trade. None of those units mean anything to me, and I'm sure he's saying the same. He's switching to skirms. <coughs> Ah, damn, <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Yes, he's gonna switch the skirmishers, which is pretty expected, as it's expected that I'm doing arch. Here, split those guys out. Make sure we're working properly. Yep. As Lee likes to say, it's babysitting. I don't have a blacksmith, which is a bit sus. <clears throat> I think I'm fine, honestly. A new host stole Hera's accounts. What? I don't know what's happening. Alright. Viper's reading chat, laid back. What is this? The typical Viper's chill, Hera's a tryhard narrative? Nice. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Uzi Wazi, thanks for the prime for two months. Appreciate that. Thanks for the followers, everyone. Finally, sub refreshed from Hineka 4. Congrats on the win back to YouTube. Sounds good, man. Uh, enjoy the YouTube content. Good to see you here, though. All right. Uh, oh, there it is. Danaconda. I set a prime for three months. Oh, the same message. I just read that. No, that's okay. The text to speech message. Finally, sub refreshed from HC4. <laughs> Congrats on the win. Yeah, thank you, man. Back I appreciate to YouTube it. 11. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Yeah, okay. He's doing the right thing though, he's just pushing me back. It's exactly what he should be doing. Alright, we'll get some TCs down. Might have to just do a... I win late game. Yeah, I win late game if he does scrims. I just do Arba, Arba Hussar, so... I'll probably have to just end up defending with some Siege. Might even add a couple Knights, maybe. But, uh, but yeah, it's just going to be a 3 TC boom, pretty standard. Could add a couple of knights and see if I can put some pressure though, and, and stay on 2TC for a little bit. That, that might be the best play actually. That might be the best play that I can do. I might try for a little bit of that. But he's gonna have the lead skirmisher now, and <clears throat> that's pretty expected, obviously. I mean, what can I hit here? Maybe I can even hit the gold. Yeah. And he's not gonna let me do much. Yeah, it's expected. I mean. Lead scrim camel, that's a good composition for Indians. He's gonna get right into that comfortably. He doesn't have the last armor, so he's not like untouchable or anything like that. In these scrims. If he's kinda coming like that, do that, and boom. <laughs> he's gonna get slapped. Uh, do you see there? Oh, ballistics for him! No way, you're crazy, dog. All right, pack it on up. <laughs> no way, ballistics. All right, we're just gonna get a seat shot now. Let's send him a knight just to push him off me. Get the seat shot. Yeah. Now Camel's coming, but I will have Siege Shop defensively anyways. I'll save that knight. No, I won't. I'm trash. <laughs> and the only thing I have to run out away from my main gold. At least most of my bills have to run. But I have a lot of gold banked up anyway, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, he sees the Siege Workshop and he has to run away now. So, But like, he's investing into Castlage. I'm okay with that. I'm going to win late game. Uh, at this rate, because I'm gonna have Arbalest, he's gonna have some useless skirmishers late game. But Baby these skirmishers hair, let's go. are far from useless right now, they're actually very useful right now, so. You gotta respect that. Respect the usefulness. 
I mean, he's gonna break in. I mean, I'll get some house walls here. Probably need to get a monastery now. Monastery back here makes some sense. And you know, I can just get a brand new wood line as well. I do want to get some houses though. Like those houses are no joke. I do want to get some houses up. And now I got the mangonel, so I'll, I'll be fine completely here. He wants to break into that side. I'll get a scorpion as well, just just in case the mangonel doesn't land head on, which it might not, because like you know, players micro are just too good these days for you know versus mangonels. So in case that mangonel doesn't land head on, I want to have a backup plan, which is going to be in, in my scorpion, and now in a couple monks as well. He is entering here, which is interesting. He, he'll try to micro most likely. Yeah, and, and that's that's probably what he should do as well. Is attempt to micro here. Okay, this is bad for him though. That's not that's not what he should do. Whoa, that's what I like to see, baby. All right. Dodgeroo, Dodgerooski. Where's my scorpion? There it is. He invested so much just to put me on the back foot. But I don't mind. This is this is where I like to be, man. Just defending and booming. I'm fine with that. 100% fine. I wouldn't be surprised if he's guarding these relics. He has plus two? Yeah, he's got plus two, so it's not a good trade. I got a lot of, I'm getting all the text from the town centers actually right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna just contest this last, ooh, no, he took the last relic, damn. All right, he's taking all, some relics now, which is kind of sus. And I think I actually wanna go straight to stable transition now. Actually, what I wanna do really is get another town center. Um, on the main zone is okay. That's what I wanna do for sure. And I think actually, instead of getting armor, I wanna get straight into stable text, like Hisar. Um, might be a bit greedy to do that. I'm a greedy person, what can I say? And I wanna see if there's any relics on top and on the bottom. Send some rather healthy crossbows there to do my bidding. Okay. Okay. I wanna set up Arba and then I wanna go straight into my Hisar. I can attack an imp here. Set up my composition from the get go. He might do double gold in a composition, so I gotta be careful of that. Like CA. Eh, no, no, he, he can do CA skirmisher sure, actually. That's probably probably his best bet. I think that's probably his best composition, CA skirms. I don't really think in, like camels are the play. Even if he's Indians, I don't think camels are the play. Not versus Italians. All right. I mean, probably since this is Viper. Oh, I don't have ballistics. That's <laughs> that's good to know. But I, I don't even care about ballistics that that much. I, I want to get a university, yes, but I want to more so than that get upgrades for my Cav. Uh, damn. I wish I saw how many upgrades he had there. That's okay.
I'm not gonna go back because of that, actually. You know, I just get a castle here, just because that secures my monastery, and it secures my eco long term for ratings. Should have just a big advantage now, and have better late game comp. I might just be doing scrims, so have to be careful. Yeah, let's just back up now. I have, I have the advantage only when Hussar comes out. I gotta be completely mindful of that. Before that, I don't have any advantage, so let's go back. Might seem like overly cautious, but if I if I miss that, I lose the game right now. So I gotta be, I, I you gotta be cautious. Uh, Archer armor is not important, not really. There's better text to get. Conscription is important, but actually, Pavis. I did say Archer armor is not important, but this is extra. <laughs> this is okay. Chemistry not yet. Get this our tech first. And we'll just get we'll just go straight to our best composition and destroy him after that. I don't think he has anything against this. I don't have a market, but my macro's been pretty insane to be honest. Eco balance. Ah, of course. Actually this is good for me, I get to see the upgrades. And yeah, not really that much. Heavy camel? He wants to go camel skirmisher, okay. I'm gonna have to get some extra arbs then. I'm just kinda wasting some bills there. Would be more mindful of that. Uh, it's kind of like extremely good rating there for him. Did not expect heavy camel, I gotta say. You see my Hussar now. I don't. I don't think I caught him off guard. Though. I think he knew I was gonna go for that, especially knowing me. Now I think I can do Genoese crossbow eventually as well. Uh, Managed to get a castle here just to secure some extra wood. Gold units melee unit, that's never a good idea. Long term. I think I want to go at Genoese eventually, honestly. I'm not sure actually, they have less range, so I'm not sure about that. Oh, he, he got a. He, he picked up a lot of those guys, like wow, that's an insane amount. Prestige. Yeah. Let's see how this composition goes. I was talking up my composition, but is it is my composition really better? That is the question I gotta ask myself now. Those monks are dead. Aha, but raiding is the difference here. Raiding is the difference. He killed some army, that's cool. Killing villagers, extra cool. Now I gotta defend a lot though.
That's huge. Just get that defense down, and I'll be fine. He can't siege. I think that's kind of his biggest spike. Now it's going to be hard for him. As the game goes on, it should get easier for me. I think I do want to get Genoese eventually as well. Go for the raids. Remember, I raided him at the start of this uh, little exchange, so... Feeling pretty good about the situation. Getting up to the max. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. That was just a mistake. Okay, risk his gold units as, as much as I can. That was a huge mistake, actually. Once again, I'm getting some raids though. He's gonna come in quick. I don't know if I can replenish arb, arb numbers in time. This castle is still hurting from last time. So luckily it's only one trap, so I can cut off. What I can do is I can cut off reinforcements here. Making some mistakes as well now. Raid him a little bit. That helps farm efficiency a little bit. It's just a good late game tech in general. Those camels are strong, man. Those camels are quite strong. Didn't they lose a pierce armor? They lost a pierce armor and they still feel insane. Probably a good nerf then. The devs were right. What can I say? I, I, I'm not sure if I should go Genoese. I think I, I think I should find a way to switch to Genoese now actually. I think I should find a way to switch to Genoese. But I have to find the right timing. I think the timing is now, actually. Sell my woods, make that switch. And I'm gonna start pushing here with some siege. I don't need that many. Ooh, that's a good raid. How did he manage that? I, I can go Kondo, Kondo Tiro. I don't know how smart that is though. Let's go raid that bottom corner. I kind of, like I'm trying to lose my arbs now. It's kind of the big thing. Okay, he sees my switch to Genoese happening now. I just want to get more Genoese crossbows. These rays are just a distraction. 
I need to get that just to not get raided on woodlands. Yeah, no, we'll, both, we'll both lose the Hussars. Okay, we have to try alerts because it's laggy. It's my fault though. Pendragon, thanks for 11 months, man. Uh, 20, 11 months, the disrespect, 22 months. Thank you, I appreciate it. That's interesting. Okay, this is a good fight though, because I'm gonna be able to lose my arbs here, and then go to full Genovese crossbow. Yeah, I don't know how strong elephant archers are, but I don't think they're that good. Uh, I don't think it should be anything special. Now the Genovese crossbow should be insanely strong. Yeah, fi yeah I, fi I finally just made that transition. Uh, that's what I needed to do for a while now. And I don't think he'll be able to find the same amount of success against my Genovese crossbows now that he was finding his Arbalest. Because I shred his camels with Genovese. Body block me? You can't. And I can always mix in monks with elephant archers if they become problematic long term. I don't think they will be though. I'm being real. Stupid. He has an extra range on me. With his cannons. What a what a battle. <laughs> what an absolute battle here. I'm fighting under two of his castles though. Like, I don't like this. I don't like the situation I put myself in does. Go back, no need to, to dive under his castles or anything like that.
Gonna get some raids in. Actually, there's like no opportunity to raid. So I don't know if that's even a play. I think we might just be able to keep him repairing here forever. I don't know if I'm trading better here long term or not. Maybe I need some monks mixed in actually. That's, that, that's what could be good here. The block printing text. That could be really good versus this Camelarch. Uh, Camelarch? No. Elephant Arch. Killing Farmers is gonna be invaluable here. I think that's a good fight for me. I think those guys melt to my Genoese, but let's see. Yeah, that's... Mm. Probably a 50-50 trade actually. Those other archers are quite 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 decent here. On Ghost Lake well, there's not as much mo as much mobility. Quite decent. Now I have some monks and now it's a different story. Yeah, so I've thinned them out a little bit. Can't really go for much more raids though. I do have the opportunity for pikemen as well, but I think pikemen are just too weak. Halberdy are much stronger, but I obviously don't have that possibility. Okay. And now I just want to get a couple trebs. I really want to wait for true trebs before I can make a push here, though. Maybe even three. Although I sold a lot of wood there. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. I want to lose these arbs so badly. The arbs are not pop efficient at all. I, I just want to delete them. Like, <laughs> Just go here, trying to snap some farmers. Let's go for a big hussar right now. Actually, I'll, I'll keep them in the back. Okay, I lost some, that's just good. I'm gonna go for a big Hussar raid right now. Okay, I can always rebuild those guys, I don't really care about them. Nah, I'm breaking that gate every day of the week. What? Oh my lord. That's terrible. At least I was able to salvage that actually. Yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Hold the phone, it's fine. Never mind, he took way he took way more damage than me, I think. Yeah, honestly I think he took way more damage. Now I have my traps set up as well. So now I have the ideal composition with three traps. He's not gonna be able to out repair three traps. Not easily at least. So let's see if I can re restart this push. Can I just make sure oh my eco is fixed? Look at the mini maps, see if there's any fights happening. I think nothing yet. Alright, let's go for it. So the biggest downside that I have here with Italians is the fact that I go for another big raid actually. Uh, no, 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 I think I just go for the push. A five monk. I think we open up with a raid and then we go for the push just to distract him a little bit. Yeah, we open up for the raid, make, sh make it seem like that's what we're going for. Then we just go for a push down the center. He has all his elephant archers in there. He probably got herbal medicine to heal them up as well. I have some uh, monks now though, those guys, those guys are going to be invaluable. More stables is always good. Yeah, some raiding. And if that castle goes down, he's going to be in a 
good amount of trouble, actually. I don't think he's able to just give that up to me, to be honest. He's just giving it up. But if that castle goes down, then it's this castle next. And that was his hill. Like, that was actually a bad area for him to lose. Castle, that's... He's getting some raids down. Gotta be careful here. Make sure it's full wall. It is. Castle's not going to anytime soon. He's just being he's being inefficient with his pop. It's 10 population he can't have here. Oh no, that's bad. That's a good flank from him. That was distracted. Hang on to two monks somehow though. Man, those Genoese crosses. I hung on to two traps and two monks. That's a win in my books. That's a win in my books. And he's still being pop inefficient here. Now I can address it. I can just send a few Hussar there. I think if I convert an Elephant Archer, he, he all of a sudden can't really deal with Elephant Archers. Because he doesn't have Genovese crossbows. Now it's crashing open for him. Until he, until he finds a hill, he can't really fight. And even if he finds a hill, I think I can still whittle them down. Run to my castle for better trades. He's dying here. He's dying hard. I, I converted a couple of elephant archers in there. The monks were a great addition. And that's a GG right there, baby. That's a GG right there. That's a good game. That's a good first game of the day. I'll take it. Give me that. That was a very nice game. I think the monks are a really, really good addition, to be honest. Like, that it makes him it makes him not able to actually camp on his hills. It makes him actually have to come to me. And converting one to elephant archers just completely changes the, the flow of the tide. Or the tide of battle, rather, I should say. That was a good game. I think Italians uh, Italians are generally really good into Indians with Genoese crossbow into any caps if really but uh, there were some awkward things though. Like I was down <clears throat> I was down one range from my bomber cannon, so bomber cannons are a bit hard to push with. Whereas Indians didn't have the extra range with Siege Engineers. And they have some extra good, like, they have some good power spikes. But, like, they get into Hisar faster, to be honest. Um, I wonder if he just did Hisar, no camel. Hisar CA. That might have been a better composition. But then that full dies to, that might full die to Genovese crossbow. It's maybe why he didn't do that. CA Skirm, maybe? CA Skirm into Hisar? Eh. Kind of sketchy still. Yeah, it's, it's tough. You probably need to mix in Skirms, but then Skirms are just a bad late game unit. You know?